behind me there's a friendly face assembly going on. Uh, they're just talking to the year sevens about uh, what the friendly face scheme does and how the system works and what they can do to help out. I think it's great that they have the friendly faces assemblies because some people don't know what to do when they're being bullied. Last year the friendly faces came to my primary school to tell us about issues that we might be worried about and they played games to make us feel like safe and comfortable about coming to this school. I was out on the field on duty and I saw a girl and her friend walking towards me and her friend was uh, crying and upset and they were, they were walking towards me until they caught out of the uh, corner of their eye a couple of friendly faces and they sort of turned away and walked towards them. That doesn't mean I'm an ogre or useless at dealing with things but actually they felt with the problem they had that, that, that uh, the friendly faces were absolutely the people they needed to talk to which is, which is great. They act as role models for pupils coming in. They can see what they can achieve and they've got something to aspire to. The friendly faces are called friendly faces for a valid reason. They are a friendly face. And sometimes adults with whatever troubles and things that they're carrying around with them sometimes don't appear to be that friendly. Whereas with the children, they can see straight away which students they can approach and which ones they can talk to. When they came to my school, um, I knew that I wanted to be one, one of the friendly faces and I really looked up to them. So when I came here, I knew exactly that I wanted to be one and I instantly applied as soon as I got into year 10. Yeah, as soon as we sort of had the assembly about it and then um, the letters came around for application, I applied because I had some problems in year seven and I went to the friendly faces about it and um, they helped me a lot to help deal with it and to sort out my problems with the friends that I was having issues with. Yeah, we get to make a big difference to hundreds of people and um, we try every day to do the same and improve people's school lives. As well as our annual training which we offer to prospective friendly faces, we've also been to other local high schools, meaning we can help them um, set up or improve similar schemes of their own. And it's really good because it means you can pass on knowledge and skills that we've gained from not only our friendly face trainings, but our anti-bullying ambassador training as well. The anti-bullying ambassadors programme has been very helpful for us because it means we can network with other groups who do have similar ideas to us and share ideas and, and learn from them as well, especially being in Norfolk because it's so rural. We also have a Twitter account which means we can continue to raise awareness over the internet. We're in year seven my, and eight, my behaviour wasn't the best around school and in year nine I found out like if my behaviour changed and I could be good in school, that I could become friendly face and I really wanted to be friendly face because of what they do for the school and I wanted to be a leader and show that people could change. Well, I use them because of this, um, well it, it was um, verbal bullying but it was getting more and more aggressive. I couldn't go to sleep at night and it just got too much, I had to tell someone but it kept bottling up inside of me so... I heard about Friendly Faces and I, w I went there and they helped me and they told the person to stop and it literally just stop and I thought it would take numerous times to stop it but immediately just gone. The, the training we got from Anti Bullying Ambassadors was, uh, was great, we were, it, it let us uh, expand our uh, knowledge and expand the ways we, we dealt with issues which meant that for every single person who came into the Friendly Faces left feeling like their problem had been dealt with. So we had um, the Eastern Region Anti-Bullying Conference in October where we had loads of anti-bullying ambassadors from all over the region coming, which was a brilliant experience because we, had, we were able to teach what we've done but also learn from other people. There's absolutely no point whatsoever if you've got something good keeping it to yourself because I think one of the great pleasures of, of, of doing something effective and successful is to share that success and see that success spread. Seeing uh, young people right from uh, infinite nursery type ages through to uh, upper secondary was brilliant because you know that that message is going to get through and hopefully they'll be the uh, community leaders, political leaders, business leaders of the future and they'll they'll remember those lessons and that compassion they showed when they worked as a, 
an anti-bullying mentor. Yeah.